now to a controversy over what happened at a Trump rally late yesterday in Val De De Soda State University in Georgia. There are a lot of Valdosa, excuse me, there are a lot of questions surrounding why about 30 students, most of them African American, were escorted out by security officials before the candidates started speaking. Now, among the questions, who escorted them out and why? In a statement to the Des Moines Register, the Trump campaign said the campaign had no knowledge of this incident and denied that students were escorted out at the request of the candidate, Donald Trump. Now, we reached out to the police department and they gave us this account of events. They say while preparing for the rally and just prior to the arrival of Mr. Trump, the public was being allowed to enter the arena. During that time frame, there were about 30 to 40 students in this complex, mostly young adults, some of which were students who were causing a disturbance in the arena. It was confirmed by the Trump detail that, and local law enforcement that these students were using profanity and were asked to leave the complex. Trump personnel then escorted the students out of the arena. Meantime, the students say that they were standing silently at the top of the bleachers and weren't planning to do anything. And joining me live now by Skype, one of the students removed from the university, a senior at the university, Juwan Andrews, who's here is the, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Doing great. Can you tell us uh, exactly your version of accounts of what happened there? Yeah, I surely can. Um, yesterday, uh, contrary to what was said, we were standing at the top of the complex um, stairs and we weren't doing anything. We didn't plan to do anything. As students, we came to gain knowledge. And the accusations that we were causing disturbance, that's alarming because I can contest that we weren't. And many people can contest that we weren't. So uh, some of the videos that you see that you see us with our fist up, that was actually when we were getting escorted out because the police officer had told us, he said, okay, y'all, y'all please come with, come with me. And we was like, okay, maybe he's just escorting us to a seat or something because they want us to move. We were like, okay, y'all, let's, let's just follow him. And the, the, where you see our, our fist up, that's where we're asking them, why are we, why are y'all making us leave? Because they didn't tell us that they were kicking us out initially. They just told us to step aside and follow them. And so we did that. And then they, when we got to the stairs, they were like, oh, y'all are getting kicked out. Y'all, y'all, we need for y'all to leave. And that's when we started asking questions because all of us had tickets to that event, by the way. And so it was like, why can't we be here? We're students. We just, we don't want to cause no disturbance. What do we do? We really did not do anything. And so you have, Juwan, you have your ticket for the event. Why did you want to attend the event? Were you, there have been people who've asked if you guys are part of Black Lives Matters. Um, why did you want to attend the event? <laughs> oh my God. No, <laughs> we just wanted to gain knowledge. Like they don't even know we supported them. Like there isn't any, my political stance, I have no, I have no definite person I'm voting for. I wanted to hear him speak. So for them to just say that we were trying to cause disturbance, that's inaccurate. You can't just assume that. Or we're students. Some, one of my, one of my yes. friends who was with us, she was actually covering that for a PR class. And she couldn't cover it because she got kicked out and she wasn't doing anything. So let me ask you, going back to the picture we just showed, you and the other students standing in the rally with your fists in the air, yes, you were saying that that has nothing to do with a protest. No, ma'am, we weren't protesting. Um, one thing that the video does not show is when, um, when my brother, he was asking the police officer before we went down the stairs, he was asking the police officer, sir, can you please just let us know why, why we're getting kicked out? And he was asking him in a civil manner and the police officer was just yelling at him like, please just leave, just leave. Like, cause they didn't know, they didn't even know why they was telling us to leave. They couldn't tell us. Like we got down the stairs, we asked another police officer. He was so, he was so, he felt so bad because he knew it wasn't right because he didn't, he didn't know why they were kicking us out. And so, no, and, the, and when we had our fist up, it was because the audience was yelling at us, chanting things, and they didn't even know the situation. So okay. that's why. Well, right now, as it stands, as you've heard, the Trump campaign says that it was not the candidate who asked for your removal. It sounds as if the police department took over. The Secret Service also released a statement uh, saying that their agents were in the area 
but they were monitoring it and escorting protesters out of the rally is not their function. It is up to the host committee, campaign staff, and local law enforcement to handle the situation. That is the statement from the Secret Service. So uh, we wanted to hear from you and uh, your version of the story, as we've also reported, the version from police. So greatly appreciate you joining us. And like everyone, knowledge is certainly power. So if that was your mission to uh, gain some knowledge of our political process, um, I hope you learned something. Thank you so much, Juan, for joining us. Greatly appreciate it. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russer. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out. All artists in need of hot beats, hit up dolopeace.com. We got them banks. Producers who need them high quality sounds, get your professional sound kit with over 11,000 sounds at DoloBeats.com.